YouTube, Electric Adventures here. Um, my mate Brendan uh, nipped over a little while ago because he's um, going through his various systems at home and he found he had a crowd division or a Dixmiss crowd division as it was known in Australia. Um, <clears throat> and he had a game that I didn't have, which is the one we're looking at at the moment, called Deep Sea Adventure. And he thought, well, to kill two birds with one stone, bring his unit over and test it with my, my power supply to see if it works. As you can see there, it's, it's working fine. We get a little fuzzy on the TV, but the capture's cleaned up a little bit of that. Um, I had to switch one of um, his controllers with one of mine. So they're, they're very, very long cables on the controllers, and they're a bit funny. They look a little bit like a Khalifa Vision controller. Um, and it's a pretty unique machine, very... Um, well, reasonably well known in Australia, Dick Smith sold a lot of computers and had a big chain of store stores across Australia, mainly selling electronics, but they had um, all sorts of computers and uh, branded ones. Now, as far as branding goes, all they did was take a Creative Vision and put a sticker over it that said Dick Smith Wizard, so they didn't really change it a lot, um, and, and printed up uh, appropriate boxes for in Australia. Um, don't have a lot of boxes for games, I do have game here called Police Jump, you can see. And the covers are basically the same, except it's got the Dick Smith Wizard branding on them. Um, and I thought we'd have a look at this game. The interesting, this game is pretty much the same as one of the other games, but with a deep sea theme. So we'll give it a go. When you're playing a Creative Vision, you need to, after you turn the, the system on, it just goes into demo mode. You've got to press reset again to get into game mode. Pressing the fire buttons goes through the different game options. And then pressing the number 2 on the keypad will start a game. <coughs> Keypads you've got to put a lot of pressure on to, to respond. So this is a bit, sort of a game a bit like Defender and where you've got side scrolling. And they do a good job with the landscape being reasonably smooth scrolling. And I think these sounds and even that music that was in the start is pretty uh, identical to the Planet Defender. If that red enemy gets in the top, you can only shoot them through the head. I'm not even sure whether there's any end to the levels. Oops. <coughs> There's no smart bombs or anything. So they said they did have some interesting clones of you know, their own. Oh, the hit points on those red ones are very annoying. I'm not 100% sure whether this actually has concept of waves or anything. This just seems like you get more and more enemies appearing. Hmm? I didn't even see him. Ooh, I do say that the background's changed, so maybe we have gone up a level now. Getting overwhelmed there a bit. Now once again, back, back in the day, this would have been fantastic. Because you're after anything that would give you an arcade experience and a bit of a blast back in the day. Alright, we might try one of the other game modes, so if I press reset. Uh, okay, so that's two players. 
uh, game mode 3, alright? Don't know whether it'll be any harder or whether there'll be any difference. Right, so we don't have the stuff in the background and the bottom, so that probably I did actually make it through to the next level. Okay, now that stuff's come back. Oh yeah, they're definitely being more aggressive. The collision detection is just as kind. Oops. So it does get harder. Right, we'll try going up again. Four, five. <coughs> just want to show you a bit of a right. See if the uh, the game progresses. So, so they were quite interesting done with, um, you know, quite vibrant sound effects and... Oops. Obviously borrowing concepts from other games. But, oh but that's what you wanted back in the day. You, 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 wanted, you wanted to play those games that are in the arcade at home. And this would have been a good fun machine at the time. There were lots and lots of machines of varying types, and this one was quite colourful. And this is the only, um, so I quite like the machines that are built on the um, TI-9918 type of video processor. And this is the only one that doesn't couple that with a Z80 processor. This actually has a 6502 variant. <clears throat> I can't remember the exact one. Um, which is interesting because the 6502 is not 100% um, very good at accessing things through, things through ports. And that's how it has to be doing. There's no shared memory with the... Um, you know, with the video chip. So it is interesting that they're getting a bit of, you know, smooth scrolling going here and everything like that. So the programmers knew what they were doing. The, um, the games just lack a little bit of, um... <sighs> Shall we say that thing? So, you know, the game at the moment is not really progressing, it's just doing the one thing. But, um, yeah, very interesting to have a look at. And, once again, great to have a look at this game, which I've never seen before on the Creative Vision. I don't have a multi-cart. There is a multi-cart available. So what I'll do while I've got the console out, I'll probably record a few more gameplay videos of some of the other games. Um, I have I have all the others. And, um, yeah, so um, very nice of my friend Brennan to drop that around. I said, obviously, I have my own unit, but he wanted to make sure that his unit worked. And it was nice to have a look at this um, deep sea adventure game, which I've never played before. All right, I'm Energy Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.